Hey guys, it's Nathan from Rookbooks here. Welcome back to the channel. For this video, I've got Sharon Denadel from Within Temptation. This is another one I had in my sketchbook. And as you can see, one of the first things I had to figure out and fix up were the proportions. Uh, for example, the arms are way too long. Um, I think the I think it's what the dress kind of put me off when I was originally drawing this. Uh, it, because it kind of just keeps flowing and I didn't measure that out properly. So that's what I did. First thing I did in Photoshop uh, was just kind of redo the proportions. But then uh, with the rest of the pieces that I'm doing in this series of uh, metal women, they were much more portraits instead of, you know, full body pictures. So I wanted to bring this back to portrait style. So I did zoom in quite a bit. I tried out a different different style. I used a much heavier brush, much more opaque brush to block in all of the values. That was really cool. That was fun. Definitely ended up being a different sort of piece. I'm trying to do sort of less detailed pieces where, you know, each brush stroke does the talking for me, you know, working on hard edges and things like that. I'm much more inclined to go for a sort of a softer edge and I'm trying to challenge myself to, to give myself some, some more hard edges and more sort of confident lines and that sort of stuff. So I kept this piece fairly minimalistic, uh, at least in comparison to some of my other uh, pieces that I've put in, in, even in this series. Um, I wanted to really capture the, the feel rather than uh, the exact likeness. Within Temptation is always sort of magic, ethereal, dark, uh, mystical sort of feel, so that's what I was going for. And I jumped over the top with an overlay, try not to get too saturated too quickly. Um, and then once again, I go over the top of that, just painting over structure that I put underneath. I just paint right over the top of that and slowly increase the saturation, slowly increase the, the lighting. I was basically copying the lighting scenario from the uh, reference piece that you see above. I did want to change the color. I, I painted her in as if the, the color was just sort of natural light. It gave her normal skin tones instead of painting her the blue um, that she obviously is in the reference photo. And that way I could change the lighting to whatever I wanted later. It was kind of funny with the eyes. Uh, they were they're very, very <laughs> enlarged and kind of cartoony. But while I was doing that, I realized I actually really liked the way it looked, uh, this semi-stylized sort of look. So I did end up keeping that slightly bigger than they should have been. And the reference photo was pretty dark, so there was a little bit where I had to use my own in intuition, and that was a really cool challenge. Again, going into the, the dress, I wasn't, I was really trying to restrict myself in terms of the detail. Uh, like she's got a buckle on um, one of the straps there. And I really had to fight myself trying to go into a crazy amount of detail and actually drawing in a, a real buckle. And I wanted to give the illusion to detail rather than actually going in and painting in these details. It's uh, definitely a challenge for me and it's something I want to develop more and more uh, with every piece. I liked the lighting scenario. I even liked, I especially liked the radial light behind her, um, but I did want to put my own spin on it. So I ended up changing the color and I went with red, it was the opposite. So. Uh, I wanted to see how that would look and I 
really liked the end result. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're getting something out of these videos. And if you are, you can check out the rest of the videos on my channel. Thanks a lot.